For the majority of us, life's okay, most of the time. Working, shopping, traveling, enjoying the countryside or the seaside. But for 320,000 people last year, that enjoyment turned to disaster when they became involved in a serious road traffic accident. Now what's really sad is that many of those deaths and injuries need not have happened at all if the drivers had been more careful, had been thinking ahead, or simply driving more slowly. This video programme is about looking after other road users and being alert to their needs. Why do some people behave so differently when they're behind a steering wheel? If we all looked after one another on the roads in the same way most of us do in the rest of our lives, risks could be reduced. You don't expect somebody to push you out of the way to take something that's rightly yours or to make life more difficult for somebody who already faces challenges every day. But drivers do things like that on the road all the time when they try to push in front. A thoughtless action when parking, even for a short while, can prove really difficult for the elderly, the infirm or less able people. Now if you were on the receiving end, wouldn't you think twice about parking there next time? How considerate are you towards other people? All you need to do is think a bit. Don't park where you shouldn't and give people some space. This fairground ride accelerates from naught to 70 miles per hour in just one second. No, I know I wouldn't dream of going on a ride like that without being restrained in the seat. Yet this little girl is in a machine that will stop from 70 miles per hour to naught in the same time if it were involved in an accident. Vulnerable road users aren't always on the outside of your car. A bit of patience and courtesy will take a lot of the stress out of driving for everybody. We were all learners once, and good drivers never stop learning. The driver of the red car had to wait a few seconds extra. It really isn't worth getting all worked up just to be home 10 seconds earlier. Schools are working with parents to find safe routes to use, but these routes will only be safe if other road users make sure they remain so. Speeding at the wrong time can kill, so slow down a bit, especially when there are lots of hazards about. Couldn't this driver have made this situation safer? Most people enjoy a social drink now and again, as long as they're not driving. However, there is a rising number of accidents with pedestrians who've had one too many. Not a bright way to get run over and killed, is it? If you see people wandering about the road or pavement looking as though they've had one too many, slow down, they're unpredictable. You'll have to do their thinking for them. By planning ahead, you'll have avoided being involved in their accident. Bikes, either with or without engines, don't have any protective bodywork like cars, which obviously makes the riders more vulnerable. The other thing about two-wheel road users is that they are more difficult to see being so much smaller than a car, and they can easily be hidden by other objects or vehicles. 
If you're really good, you've already spotted this bike between the trees. Having its lights on helped. But were you ready for the second one? If one of these collides with one of these, you'll come off the worst. In that setup situation, you saw the rider avoid hitting the car through riding defensively and at a speed which allowed her to stop in time. It was unquestionably her priority, but then that wouldn't have been much consolation lying in a hospital bed. This cyclist has made himself even more vulnerable by choosing not to wear a helmet. Couldn't this driver have made this situation safer? Safe driving isn't really about who's right or wrong. Of course, you should always follow the rules and be aware of priorities, but good observation and good planning can prevent you from becoming involved in accidents. Good girl. Well, most horse riders will not be on the road where there is a more suitable route for them, but sometimes it is unavoidable. Now, this is not about who has the right to be on the road, because we all do, but we also all have a responsibility to show consideration for everybody else. Don't we, girl? With a bit of thought, everybody's life could be just that little bit easier and safer. After all, life is for enjoying. When meeting or passing horses, Put yourself in the saddle. How would you feel if someone else was this inconsiderate? All you need to do is think a bit. So you need to match your speed to the road and traffic conditions so that you can cope safely with whatever you meet. Next time you're feeling impatient, bad-tempered or unforgiving, think back to the last time you felt vulnerable. Make sure you always drive with courtesy and consideration, especially for vulnerable road users. Make the Driving Standards Agency's objective your objective. Safe driving for life. <laughs>